Welcome. My name is Guy Hummel. I'm the Azure Content Lead at Cloud Academy, and I have over 10 years of experience with cloud technologies. If you have multiple virtual networks, then they'll be isolated from each other by default. There are two ways to connect them, using VNet peering or using a virtual network gateway. VNet peering is by far the easiest method, so we'll start with that. I'm not going to show you the process of creating the two VNets, though, because I'm assuming you already know how to do that. Just make sure you don't give them overlapping IP address spaces. Go into one of the virtual networks in the portal, select peerings from the menu, and click Add. Give it a name. I'll use the name of the first virtual network, dash, and the name of the second virtual network. Then choose the subscription where the second virtual network resides. And finally, choose the second VNet. Allow virtual network access is enabled, which is what we want. Otherwise, the peering wouldn't allow traffic between the VNets, which would make it kind of useless. And there are a few other configuration options as well, but I'll tell you more about those later. To complete the connection, you also need to create a peering in the other direction in the second virtual network. Once the status of both peerings is connected, instances in the two VNets will be able to communicate with each other as if they were in the same VNet. You can even do this with virtual networks that are in different regions, which is known as global VNet peering, or across subscriptions, as long as they're associated with the same Azure Active Directory tenant. Traffic between them still goes through the Microsoft Backbone network rather than through the internet, so the connection is private and has high bandwidth and low latency. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to view the complete course, visit cloudacademy.com.